Never performed with the Count Basie band before, and I admired them. They're in my favorite band. So it was quite a thrill. It really was. And it's nice to be home and go to your own bed at night and sleep. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you, Giselle McKenzie. Here's Carl Ballantyne hiding incognito, but I spotted him next to Giselle McKenzie. I'd like to know what Carl has to say for Skippy on his birthday. I say another year. He's a wonderful man. I don't know how he does it. He keeps looking the same every year. Why is that? Because there's a picture in his attic, like the Dorian Gray story, part two. <laughs> Carl, where do you live? Do you live in L.A.? I live under the Hollywood sign. Really? For a long time? About 20 years. Yeah. It's very nice to see you. Very nice to see you, dear. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is there something else you'd like to say? No, just I wish my wife was here. She's the one that does a lot of talking. Well, we'll get her, too. Oh. Well, her coffee's here, so she's coming up. All right. Hi. Jane Keene, how are you? Oh, you may have, We both were... We're both like in, in white for Skippy, summer colors. Listen, this is Skippy's birthday, and I'm sure you'd have something very pleasant to say to him. Well, I certainly do, because I've been on his show a couple of times, and he's such a darling man. He really is fun, and I hope he has a great birthday. He's, he's had quite a few now, not as many as I've had, but he's... <laughs> You know, there's been so many things done lately about the revival of the Honeymooners with the episodes and things. Out of all the episodes you've done with the Honeymooners, which was the one that you loved the most? Was there one in particular? Yes, I think so. The one where we went to London and we made a guest appearance on a television show. And Jackie had been so smart-ass before the show saying, oh, we can do this, we can do that. And then he got on and he, he just totally up. He couldn't remember a word. He was like, like stone. <laughs> you know, that was a funny episode. That was my favorite. And are you doing cruises now and plays? Last time I think I read you were doing a play when I was reading Variety. Yes, I am doing a play. I'm doing Sabrina Fair in Atlanta at the University of Georgia. I leave Sunday. Well, good luck. It was wonderful to see you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's a gorgeous costume. Well, thank you very much. Represent. Is it like a fiesta time or? It's a Skippy Low birthday bash dress. Birthday skip. <laughs> Would you like to say something wonderful to Skippy about his birthday? Feliz cumpleaños, uh, buenos birthday, and mi amor, amor ustedes. How's that? What does that mean? I don't know, but doesn't it sound good? It sounds very good. I hope it was clean. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Enjoy your coffee. Your husband missed you tremendously. Well, he doesn't look it. I think he's got some lovely girls here. He's surrounded by legends and popularity and beauty. All three things, absolutely. Thank you so much for coming. My pleasure. It's nice to be interviewed by a sweet person. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't she? And this is Ruth Webb. Right. Ruth Webb. Ruth Webb, who looks like a legendary Hollywood star and represents legendary Hollywood stars and very interesting people such as Joey Buttafuoco. Yeah, Joey's in town. Joey's in town. We had lunch together. In fact, he's going to try to drop in tonight. Oh. He looks wonderful. He is wonderful and he loves California. He's moving out here. He's uh, gone back to uh, going back tomorrow morning, get his wife and his two children and they're going to move to California. And he's a wonderful, wonderful actor, and he's also a very, very wonderful human being. He's the nicest man I've ever known in my entire life. Wow, the nicest man you've ever known in your entire life. Is anything, wait a minute, uncross your hands. The nicest man you've ever known in, in my entire life. The most honest, the most decent, the most outgoing, and at times the most stupid. <laughs> You heard it here. And what's going on in Tanya Harding, who you represent like? Uh, well, we had 34 offers for, for Tanya Harding, and she turned them all down. Or maybe she never got them because she had a crazy manager that I don't think really was her manager. But when she turned down uh, a role in, Woody Allen, in a Woody Allen show because she didn't like his morals, we dropped her. <laughs> Tanya Harding didn't like Woody Allen's morals? And, 
And who else are you representing that's of the controversial note that people would like to know about? Who else? Um, hmm. uh, are you still handling Mickey Rooney? What? Mickey Rooney? Are you still handling Mickey Rooney? I'd kill him if I got, if I got my hands on him. I was in court two days ago. He owed me $250,000 in commissions. Oh. <laughs> now, what would you like to say to Skippy, who I hope doesn't owe you $250,000 for his birthday? I think Skippy is wonderful, and uh, I've known Skippy almost 30 years. And at one of the parties that I had out in Malibu when we had our place there, Skippy came in, and we had a... Uh, a male stripper who was going to do a specialty show and he, he walked up to Skippy Lowe and he said, are you Ruth Webb? <laughs> <laughs> That's all we can say with Ruth Webb, the boa queen who makes a Hollywood legend come alive. Thank you for coming, Ruth. Thank you for, I mean, I'm glad I could find the place. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Kermel tonight, Sexy Normal, Edie Williams, the girl that if I'm at a party and I see Edie Williams, I know I'm at the right party for the night. And here we are at Skippy's party. What do you have to say for Skippy that you want to see on television? What do I have to say? For his birthday. Oh. <laughs> Get younger. <laughs> That's excellent. Edie, what is going on in your life? How do you like my girl next door look? That's what I mean. This is like, can you get the full thing of Edie? As I said, you look normal tonight. Sexy normal. Girl next door. Girl next door. You would, should wish that this girl lives next door. <laughs> what are you doing these days? A movie? Yes, and answering a lot of fan letters. I get all the fan letters from all over the world. Thank you very much. And I try to answer all of them. It takes a lot of time. I love your red hair. Do you like, this is the uh, chestnut. This chestnut. Okay, in this light, it goes beautifully with this thing. It's like a match. It almost looks reddish in this light. Thank you. And do you like my, my diet that I've been on? My waist. It's the Scarlett O'Hara of the Skippy Low Party. The 22-inch waist, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. You look good yourself. I, I wore a Skippy Party dress. How do you like my muscles? <laughs> this is her muscles. You're ready for a... You could do the Edie Williams video. The workout video. You're right. You know? That's the one thing you haven't done. Pumping iron, lifting weights. Yeah, I could do it. Yeah, come on. With a little erotic stuff thrown in? I know. I'll put Skippy over my shoulder and I'll lift him up and down like this. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Did you go to the film festival this year? To Cannes? Um, no. I did something else that was more fun. I went up to Las Vegas and I saw the new roller coaster on the tallest hotel up there. It was fun. Did you go on it? Yeah. <gasps> I would be so petrified. What was it like? Scary. <laughs> but I like that. It's fun to be scared. And then you feel afterward, you just feel so lucky that you're to still be living. Safe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you're still alive. So you look wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I think the workout video, the Edie Williams workout video, we will see this by next year. I don't want any credit for it, but I see it with a little, an R-rated workout video. I see it, don't you? All right. No, healthy, you know, like um, all you have to do, no caffeine, no sugar, no cigarettes, no alcohol. No sex? Well... This keeps you healthy, so they say. This is Edie Williams, and we thank you for being here. And it's nice to be here. Again. Okay, and I'll see you at the Academy Awards. And you'll wear something outrageous and fun. Of course. Of yes. course. See-through. <laughs> Hi, we're here with Sybil Brand, not only a famous woman, but an institution. And she would like to say something about Skippy Lowe and his birthday. What would you like to say for Skippy Lowe on his birthday today? A sweetheart. What would you like to say about Skippy Lowe and his birthday today? Well, I'd like to say that, I, you know, I've been to most all of Skippy's birthdays for a lot of years. But I haven't seen him but to say hello. <laughs> That's typical Skippy at a party, isn't it? <laughs> it's so dark, you know, you can't see anybody in here. But it's but he's having a good time, so that's all that counts. 
thank you very much. It's wonderful to see you. And who are you? My, my name is Michael. Do you know Skippy? Um, yes, I do. Would you like to wish him a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Skippy, and many, 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 many more. More for you than me. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Sybil. Okay, <laughs> Here's Hello. David. Yes, how are you? This is Skippy's host, the announcer of the show for all of Skippy's brought. Can we start over again? This is David. David is Skippy's announcer for all of those Skippy low looks at Hollywood. And I'm sure you have something really special that you would like to do in your best announcing voice for Skippy Low on his birthday that you wouldn't mind seeing repeated when you're sitting in the studio watching it. I don't know. I'm not that fast on the uptake. Uh, happy birthday, Skippy. You're an announcer for 12 plus years. It's been a lot of fun. And very interesting in meeting lovely people like Annie and the gentleman I'm with and uh, our guest, his guest, Carol Bruce, who unfortunately isn't seated with us right at this moment. Is Bobby Morse coming tonight? Oh, no, no, no. He's, he does, no, actually, he's a candidate. He's directing a production of True. He's not going to be in it, but he's directing a young fellow. Oh, really? And some, who's playing True? Uh, some young, unknown actor. That's very interesting. Back in the middle of the month, but he won't be here because he is out of town. So um, that's the latest I heard from him. And uh, he's expecting a baby, so he's going to be a father again soon. Again? Yeah. Another one? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't say anything, but... Uh, well, father knows best. Yeah, he said I could say it, so he's going to be a daddy for the fifth time. <laughs> Oi, thank you, David, for all the news from Hollywood. That's a scoop, isn't it? <laughs> that is a scoop. <laughs> But it's nice seeing you. Hope to see you and John soon. Thank you very much. John introduced a friend of mine at La Costa. She, he's talking about John Biner. Yes, uh, a very talented John Biner. Uh, uh, they had the Carl Reiner's thing at La Costa recently, and uh, one of my friends was one of the young comedians he introduced. And who was that? Uh, Bruce Smirnoff. And Bruce and I met out here, but we're both graduates of Boston University. And so that was a... Um, what do you call it? Sort of like a linchpin or something. That's how we. That's right. John filled in for Carl Reiner. Carl Reiner missed his first golf tournament in 24 years. But by the time John Biner finished doing a great impression of Carl Reiner, everybody was saying Carl who. So it worked out very well. They didn't even miss Carl. They probably didn't even know he was gone. <laughs> I'll take the fifth. I'll go directly to jail. I will not pass go. Thank you, David. <laughs> this is Annie Gabus with a big deal. <laughs> Ask her oh my about God, a new it book. is. <laughs> Whoa. I want a hug. A heck of a kiss. Somebody get a rope, please. <laughs> Her husband's not here, and I'm going to be tied up for a couple of hours. Hey, let's get you wishing Skippy a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Side. I know I'm at the party of the evening. What would you like to say to Skippy tonight? Many happy returns, Skippy. You always have a great party. Lots of fun people. And lots and lots of more part. Lots more parties for you, Skippy. Out of all the parties you've been to, of course, besides this one tonight, what's been the most amazing one, and what was the most amazing thing that happened so far in 96? In 96, if I can survive a party, I get, I get out of the party and get home, I find it amazing. I don't go to that many parties. He said every party, at every event, at a private party where someone's getting married, he's there shooting the pictures for all those papers that we all say we don't read, but that we really read. We do read them. We all read them. And, they, and, this, and they've gotten a, little, a lot of respectability in the last few years. Inquiring minds have to know. Especially with the OJ situation. <laughs> <laughs> Any new gossip that you'd like to tell us tonight? I can't think of anything except that, uh, that Annie Gabus is here without her husband. Don't tell anybody. I won't. John Biner's a very nice man. Thank you. Wonderful place by Horton Plaza. Absolutely, and then you'll have to call me because I live there now. Absolutely, absolutely. We're all here to wish Skippy a happy birthday, and look at the wonderful assortment of people that are going to wish him. First of all, here's a gossip columnist, Marcy Weiner. Besides wishing Skippy a happy birthday, I hope she gives us the latest on something. Marcy? 
Well, actually, I have to tell you that Skippy knows even more gossip than I do, and we're, we're kind of like head in Luella. I mean, actually, I have to tell you something. I consider myself Hedda Hopper's illegitimate granddaughter. I really have. I really do, because I played her a few times in USA Network, but I'm not wearing a hat tonight, so I can't tell you anything that you don't already know. But I am here with a lot of good friends tonight, including a friend of mine from South Africa, Christine, who's a travel writer. Say hello. Hello. It's lovely to be here and wish him a happy birthday. And she says she feels like she's in a Fellini movie, and actually we are. <laughs> and the star of the movie is Terry Moore. Oh, Skippy, happy birthday, sweetheart. She's got le she, she's left everything under her hat. That's why she can't give you any gossip tonight. Anyway, we love you, Skippy. We just wish you the happiest birthday ever. And I think this is about uh, the tenth birthday, so. Uh, Happy, happy birthday. And here's Dr. Perrin. Hi, Skippy. Uh, we're all here to celebrate with you on this very auspicious occasion, and we want to wish you happy 39th birthday. All the best, good health, happiness, all the success. Bye for now. Three wonderful people, a legendary actress, a hot gossip columnist, and a foremost doctor. Who could be more than that? It is a Fellini movie here at Skippy's party. say to everybody here tonight what would I like what would you like to say to everybody that's here tonight that you want to see repeated on your television show what would I like to tell everybody yes have good thoughts about everyone okay Thank you. happy birthday happy Skippy coming, God bless you. <laughs> a knife. Somebody said this was the greatest party. They said it's just like a Fellini movie. Skip, turn, turn, turn around and look this way, Skip, the picture. Tonight, Debbie Dutch. Where, where, where? She's a girlfriend of mine. I love her. She looks normal. She looks like actually a television actress looking very hot and sexy, but she looks normal. You'll have to check her out. Well, since Edie's a girlfriend of mine, I really am looking forward to that, and you're my best girlfriend. What do you have to say to Skippy tonight for his birthday? I love Skippy. He is my inspiration. Honest. I know I'm not BSing. I just love Skippy Low ever since I came to Hollywood. And when I found out he was best friends with my best girlfriend, who we've done all these funky television talk shows together. I hear Joey Buttafuoco might be here tonight. Oh my God. We did a show with Joey Buttafuoco. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I love you, Skippy. Happy birthday and all your dreams come true. Thank you. That was my friend Debbie Dutch. Wait a minute. We co-starred together in Death Dancers that actually became a very successful movie. And that was your birthday card, Skippy. The poster from Death Dancers that Annie had the second female billing on. I had the first. Of course. My friend Debbie Dutch. 
Daly. Jan Daly. Jan Daly's here to say happy birthday, Skip E. And uh, just did his show this week, and uh, what a sweetheart. We had a great interview. We've been, for probably the last 20 years, in a lot of the same places, but <laughs> somehow we never met. So this is uh, this is our first meeting, and I'm at the Cinegrill uh, all in June, all well, the Sundays in June. So. That's good, because we never know when the show's going to air. That's right. Well, it actually aired here in L.A., but, uh, you know, it's going to air everywhere. Well, you've gone to a lot of parties, right? Yes, absolutely. What do you think of the assortment of people here? Somebody said it was like a Fellini movie. It truly is. Yes, it, it definitely is. In fact, I'm just going to take this cake and sit in the corner and look at all the people, <laughs> because it's worth it. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. Nice to see you. <laughs> she is. Are you coming or going, Carol Bruce? I'm going. Carol Bruce is going. <laughs> going, going, gone, but it's been beautiful. It's been a hell of a party. You know the song from, what show was it? This was a real nice clam bake. We're mighty glad you came. Carousel. It's an Oklahoma carousel. That's right, yeah. That's right. The vittles we had were good, you're bad. Did you have some vittles? I beg your pardon? Did you have any vittles? I'm just going on with the lyrics of the song. The vittles we had were good, you're bad. The company was the same. Quite an interesting assortment of people. I'm having... You're wonderful. Forg <laughs> forgive me. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I cannot hear a word with this decibel of music. Music? Happy birthday. At any rate, happy birthday. happy birthday to Skip, a very, very wonderful person. And I'm delighted because it's got a lot of nice, classy people showing up to say happy birthday. And he gives a hell of a party. And one of the classiest is Carol Bruce. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. You know, Marcy Weiner, the gossip columnist to the stars, has a husband, and he has a lot to say, too. Yeah. This is Fred. Yeah. Hi. Uh, you know, uh, as Uncle Moody would say, geez, I, I'm looking at you with that dress. Turn around a little bit, huh? Okay, okay, okay. You know, it says, as he said, geez, I, I wish I had it, you know? <laughs> you, you look so pretty, really. Thank you. What would you like to say to Skippy for his birthday? Uh, Skippy, a, uh, a good year with a lot of health and also a, uh, a uh, bountiful year. He is such a great interviewer, really. He, he deserves whatever he'll get, really. Anyhow, nice to see you. Nice, and thank you for the compliment. Nice to see you. Well, that's, you only can give compliments if they're, if they're due. It's fun. Thank you. Who I'm sure has something to say. He has something to say about everybody and everything. A former championship fighter, a very good friend of Joe Sides, the late Joe Side. Of course. But you're going to wish Skippy Lowe a wonderful happy birthday, aren't you? I am. And I hope he doesn't land in jail because I'm ready to bail him out. That's my, that's my business. That's right. He went from fighting to fighting to get people out of jail on bail bondsmen. He's Mr. Bail Bondsman, and you're located where? I'm, I'm located in El Monte and Pomona, and this is my sweetheart for, for, for four years. Would you like to wish Skippy a happy birthday? Sure. Happy birthday. happy birthday, Skippy, from Susie. Susie, Joey's sweetheart of 40 years. Thanks for coming, Joey. Oh, only four. <laughs> but and Skippy, happy birthday, champ. But four years in Hollywood is a lifetime. It's like 40. People go, wow, four years, right? Thank you very much for, your for the introduction. Absolutely. Thank you, Joey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you all. This is Dennis Cole. I mean, do I even have to say his name? His face is known well, by to, everybody. Well, yes, you have, have to. to. Wish another birthday to Skippy. Skippy, God bless you. Love you. Happy birthday. He's a wonderful man. A wonderful man. It's about man. the 90th time. 90th party, so it's been 90 years that I've known him. Isn't that amazing? You both look terrific! And we're terrific. both only 39. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Skippy, love you. Happy birthday. Dennis Cole. Does she look adorable? Does she look like she's going to play Daisy May and Little Abner? Stella Stevens, you look wonderful. Thank you very much. Thanks. I'm real happy to say that I'm now working on General Hospital. <laughs> Yeah, I play Jake, the owner of Jake's Bar, and I'm going to have a romance. With who? Which character? Uh, with Mike, who is played by Ron Hale. He's a wonderful actor. Oh, and that's wonderful. Yeah, so I'm really having fun on this show. 
It's like a dream come true. I love the show anyway, and all the people are so great to work with. So uh, that's my, you know, like once you get work, sometimes it begets work. I'm also going to play a role in the CBS miniseries of In Cold Blood, and I play Thelma, the hotel keeper, where one of the boys has stayed, and I help the police find them and catch them. This is wonderful. I know. This is major exposure on network where you should always have been. You've been doing some great films, but now you're back on TV where everybody can see you. I'm also going to do a, an episode of Arliss, which is on HBO. It's a comedy with Robert Wall. I play a real funny character on that. It's sort of a combination of Georgia Frontieri and Marge Schott. I own a hockey team. <laughs> Are you a woman that curses? Uh, you curses quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> and has some very strong beliefs. Have the Poseidon adventure, you know, yeah. Only a little better dress this That's time. That's exactly that's what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah. <laughs> With an expensive count of Chanel. Exactly, exactly. And lots of diamonds in the daytime. We like that. And what is Andrew, your son, doing? Andrew Stevens is her son. Of course, you all know that. My son is doing very well. He's producing his own films. He has his own company called Royal Oaks. And they make about six films a year. So he's busy, busy. And he's newly married and he's very happy? Newly married and Robin is adorable his wife and she wants to have babies but she's not pregnant yet but I'll let you know first <laughs> they're working on it very hard yes I think they're working on it maybe even as we speak as we speak because he's not here tonight he's very busy no, he's not here I guess they may be working on it yeah and what would you like to say to Skippy on his birthday well many many happy returns of this day and you know many many more happy birthdays Every year, now this must be the third or fourth annual one I've been able to spend with Skippy, and he's adorable. He's a very loving, giving person, and it's nice to get together with his friends once a year. And it was nice for you to come out tonight, even though you're shooting General Hospital, and this is a wonderful birthday present for him to see you here tonight. Thank you, Stella. Thank you. It's wonderful to see you, too. Thanks. You're looking great, by the way. I wore my birthday. Little Abner as well. That's right. You should have worn your birthday suit, though. <laughs> it's underneath. <laughs> okay, take care. <laughs>
wish you the happiest birthday of all. I know you've had many, but I want this to be your best. And may you have a hundred more great birthdays. You're one of a kind, and you're like a really good friend of mine. And I just wish you the very best for the rest of the year. This is Katherine Kramer, who's the daughter of Stanley Kramer and is a wonderful singer and actress in her own right. And what's going on for you? We might as well find out while we've got you here for a minute. Well, actually, I um, I had these. I just Someone handed them to me tonight, but <laughs> isn't that wild how it comes in? I'm um, playing the Vibe Room on June the 20th with Anita O'Day, the jazz legend. And we're actually, I'm doing a play based on her life, the young years. And so this is like a kickoff. A one-woman show? Yes. Oh, yeah, it's nice. going to be. And the Viper Room's that happening room in Los Feliz? Um, no, it's actually Sunset Boulevard, and it's Johnny Depp's Club. Oh, the Johnny yeah. Depp Club, right, in West Hollywood. And what's been going on besides that? Several movie projects I'm working on, and then I'm doing the Jazz Bakery um, right after that. And For Ruth Price? Uh, yes, exactly. yeah.